Put your seat on like a jacket. It's weight shifting partially, yeah. trim put that forward trim bring it back about there for uh, takeoff and landing or if I'm not playing around you know this this airplane Steve's called a uh, Casper wing yeah and that was the Vidal Casper originally designed that uh, back well told, well -told Casper. Well -told Casper yeah now and, uh, Steve Grosrick yeah. was the designer of the plane yeah. Now the airplane, when I first saw it, they told me that it uh, wouldn't stall. That the yeah, actual yeah, thing would do a, a vertical axle come down vertically. It'll do both. You can stall it, or uh, so what you would do is bring it close to a stall. Now, how, how would I do that on this? This is called weight shift control here, is it? Weight shift for pitch. Uh, the wheel controls the rudders. And narrowed on top of the. Well, I can't see the. Oh yeah. Can you just move them back and forth so I can see on the wings here what's happening? I've got them locked down. Right oh okay. Now, That's fine. Uh, or I, this pivots also, and I can open both of them at the same time for air brakes, which is part of the vertical descent. Oh, on time here, not that big a deal. Now this airplane, uh, it looks different from the original ones. It looks to be a little bit uh, better finished and a little higher. Have you done changes, modifications to it? Yeah, a lot of things that you can't see uh, or you wouldn't notice. I've gone to eighth inch cables and the flying wires. They used to be 330 seconds. I did that because uh, I did an engine mod and reinforced uh, some of the tubing. So I've got about a 48 pound weight gain and I'm gonna go about 15 miles an hour faster. Well, uh, a lot of drag pressures and uh, because of the weight, why gravity wants me a little more. Now so this, I bumped up the flying wires. Okay. Now this airplane here it has no tail then, so weight shift controls it as you uh, mentioned, and then you've got your uh, rudder vators. What kind of takeoff distance am I looking at? What kind of cruise speeds? Uh, right now, takeoff hard surface, uh, 50 feet. Uh, climb rate at that? Uh, I haven't really clocked it. Okay. What kind of power like are you? Rocket. Yeah. What kind of power are you using on the aircraft now? 447, 40 horse uh, Rotax. What was it originally uh, powered with? Uh, 250 Zenoa, uh, 20 horse engine that they were sucking 23 horse out of with an expansion chamber. Okay. Now, are, are parts hard to, to come by this? It looks like everything on this is new. Uh, you make your own now. They've been out of business 84, 85. Okay. Fairly simple though, like this airplane here, do you buy it from them as a kit and then assemble it yourself? Or? Yeah, that's the way it was done. And where were you able to uh, find the fabric and uh, stuff for it? I uh, bought the fabric at an uh, auction. Uh, ultralight dealer was going out of business. And uh, a fellow named uh, Jack Tillman sold up the sales for me. He jumps for the opening ceremonies, one of the parachuters. Uh, what was the first year this was manufactured, do you know? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I was a dealer, but I didn't get into it until 82, okay. winter how, of 82. How long have you had this one? Eight, 82. Oh, you've had this basically since brand new then? Yeah. And, okay. How many hours you got on it now? Uh, under 400. Not too much, but and about 60 hours since I rebuilt it in 93. Now, why would you fly wide open with these wires and stuff rather than some of this new stuff that's out here? This is why. <laughs> it's fun. It's just fun. How much money would you have tied up into a project like this? Uh, new this sold for thirty-six, thirty-seven hundred. And I've got about three thousand in redoing it. Uh, can you think of any other questions I should be asking you here? Oh, it's a fine machine. You can still find them around uh, if you ask for them or advertise for them and, and watch the ads. Uh, the club I'm in, there was uh, five of them at one time. So one of them has been sold and another one's for sale. Uh, slow fight machine. Uh, the vertical descent is really unique. Uh, there aren't any other planes that can do that. Uh, just to go out and play and uh, have a good
good time, why well, you can't beat them. These and things like old weight shift or, uh, quicksilvers and pterodactyls, uh, they're making a comeback just because people remember what this was like and then they kept moving up and they found out that they've gotten away from what it really was, how it started, and they're going back to it. Uh, we've got Antique Row here at uh, Oshkosh, and, and there's a lot of interest in it. Is there any type of an association for Casper Wings or anything like that? Uh, a guy in Alaska tried to start a newsletter and collected $10 from a lot of people, and we got one newsletter. So. <laughs> okay then, Steve. Thank you very much for your time. All right. What you need to do on this one is near zero in on the pilot as he lands because he's going to change his position.